Here's a quick overview over the new tools and features coming with the CC4D Tools update 1.0.4. This is a bigger update and it comes with a new tool, some new features and completely overhauled and refined setup scripts. Now let's dive right in and have a look at the new features of the Import Character tool. As a new option you can now directly apply the CC4D control rig and face rig when importing the character FBX file. And you can run the new auto material setup directly on the import of a character as well. And within a few clicks you have your character creator, Accurig or ActorCore character set up with a full body and facial control rig ready for animation and rendering. Another new feature is that the CC character null object that was previously only created by the CC4D control rig setup is now already created by the input character tool and it's getting let's say a bigger role in the whole CC character setup inside Cinema 4D. As it was just the default null object before, it is now its own specific CC4D component serving as the root or main object of the character, holding some information about the character's configuration and materials. The path to the original FBX file will be stored under the config tab, as well as the path to the JSON configuration file, if it was provided. This way this information can easily be used by the other tools like the CC4D auto material setup. It also holds some additional information about the character type and the character's facial profile. Under the Materials tab of the CC Character Null object, you can find a list of groups corresponding to the character's geometry. Within these groups, you can find link fields to all of the materials for each geometry part. For now this should simply serve as a way to have all the materials of the character in one place and to be able to quickly reach certain materials to adjust their parameters without having to search through the material manager or the character's hierarchy. Even though the link fields of the CC character null object and the material tags of the character are not directly linked, you can update the material tags or the link fields with the two buttons on the top. Simply drag the materials you want to replace into the link fields and click the update tags button to update the character's material tags. It will also work the other way around and you can update the link fields information from the material tags. Now let's quickly have a look at some more general updates of the CC4D system and its components. In previous versions of the CC4D tools, the name of the control rig root group was CC4 control. To make things more universal, this has been changed to CC control. For characters that already have an older version of the CC4D control rig applied to it, the animation tools will still be able to work with this old naming convention. But it's highly recommended to always use a specific version of the CC4D control rig with the CC4D tools version it came with. Another update is that all of the CC4D components like the CC character null object, the control rig and the face rig have gotten a CC4D specific type attribute. To make it easier for the tools to correctly identify specific components of the character. The CC4D control rig and its setup have gotten a small feature update as well. The direction of the foot controls will now be aligned with the initial bind direction of the foot joints. In previous version where the direction of the foot controls was not aligned, in some cases the initial rotation of the controls could have been offset quite a bit. As this also affects the rotation of the knee because of the IK chain, there is a new parameter under the setup tab of the foot controls called foot rotation offset. With this you can set the initial rotation of the knee to your liking. 
Now let's finally have a look at the new CC4D Auto Material Setup. With the Auto Material Setup you can quickly replace the default materials of a character, materials of specific objects of a character or only specific materials with predefined material templates from the CC4D Asset Browser content. You have the option to choose between the basic and the advanced material type. The basic materials are simply some RS standard materials with some predefined node setups and texture nodes. The script will make sure that all of the necessary textures exported from Character Creator will be imported correctly. The advanced materials, on the other hand, are designed to resemble the shaders from Character Creator and their parameters as closely as possible, to get a similar level of control in Cinema 4D as in Character Creator. If a JSON configuration file is exported with the character, it can be utilized by the auto material setup and most of the parameter values set up in Character Creator will be applied to the parameters of the advanced CC4D materials. There might be some visual differences, of course, between Character Creator and Redshift in Cinema 4D, but this is just the first attempt in resembling those shaders inside Cinema 4D, and it's also two completely different render engines. The advanced materials will utilize a lot more of the textures exported from Character Creator than the basic materials, and they hold a custom CC40 shader group with the custom parameters I already mentioned. You can learn more about the auto material setup, the material templates and all the other updates in the CC4D documentation or on my YouTube channel.